Tell us a bit about rare earths. There are several rare earths. They have exotic names. What are they and what's interesting about them? For a start, rare earths aren't that rare. That's the first anomaly is that, yeah. um, but they're rare in economic quantities. So in terms of extraction. So as I've mentioned, rare earths aren't rare, but there are very few rare earth projects that can be successfully brought to the market. And what these elements are, that 17 elements on their periodic table, they've got exotic names like neodymium, praseodymium, dysprosium, terbium, cerium, lanthanum, gandelium, samarium, europium, and so forth. I've done quite well out of those 17, I think. But, but these rare elements are, as I say, all found together when you mine them, and you mine them as a concentrate in the sheet. And the analogy I can use for your audience is to understand a platinum mine. Now, platinum mine is not really a platinum mine is a basket of PGMs, platinum group metals. So you get, you get platinum, you get palladium, you get rhodium, you've got a bit of yttrium, and you've got some normally a bit of gold and often some chromite in the platinum deposit. The reason why it's referred to as a platinum deposit is because platinum is your dominant metal in that basket of platinum group metals. So when you mine platinum, you mine all these elements together in one basket, and then you produce a, what they call a platinum concentrate, or PGM concentrate, I should say, and that PGM concentrate is then sent to a smelter, who then, through smelting technology, separates individual elements out into your rhodium, your palladium, your platinum, and so forth. When you mine a rare earth project, you get all 17 elements together in a concentrate, so that's your first stage of mining, 